How's it going, David from Comic Book Investments? So I did a podcast with my dad, who is now the head of the comic book division over at PSA. And we had an interesting back and forth about how he thinks that, you know, every comic book should get graded. Um, but he's coming from one side, and I'm coming from another side where I'm like, I don't think every comic book should be graded. And I've talked to different customers, and some people will explain to me why they don't want to get their comics graded and why some do. So, you know, I've come at this from both sides, and I'm going to give you kind of my thoughts on why I don't think you should actually grade everything, right? Certain things should be graded. Now, I did a video on the three reasons why to get your comic book graded, uh, protection from the elements, for investment purposes, and just simply if you want to resell it, and this makes it easier. But not every comic book should be graded, and I get a lot of comics in because I'm a consignment center. I take consignments for my auctions. And a lot of times I'm like, why did this person grade this book? You lose money on it because to get something graded is going to cost you, could cost you up to almost $50. Um, the grading fee at CGC for a modern, let's say a modern book, roughly around $25. And depending on where you live, you have to pay shipping there and shipping back and insurance, all that kind of stuff. It could run you up to $40 to $50. Now, if you send them in a big batch, Obviously, the shipping will be reduced, so you save money that way. So maybe it's twenty-five or thirty dollars a book, right? If you send in a bunch. But does it even make it worth it? First, you have to know how to grade. What if you send in a book and in a nine-eight, it's worth fifty dollars, but you get a nine-four? Okay, now that book's worth like ten or fifteen bucks. And then on top of that, you're going to sit on it forever. I'm talking about selling it. You're going to sit on it forever hoping someone comes along. If you throw in an auction, it'll go for like $7. And I've seen this before. I've seen people would send in, you know, I call them modern, but they could be from the 90s and it, like a bloodshot number one. And it'd be a 9-4 and it'd sell for like $5 case. Well, to get that book case, you're losing $25, $30. And it doesn't make any financial sense. Now, if you're doing, if you're casing a book for other than financial reasons, because you love it, all that kind of stuff, you want to protect it, Sure, I get that. And now you're just like, I'm, I know I'm going to lose money on this book. I'm fine with it. And a lot of people have this misconception where they look at something and they go, oh, this book sold for $50, $40. That means it's worth that much. And it's like, well, no, this book is not is very common. And a lot of people don't really want it, not very much demand for it. And it will sit for two years until someone pays $40. If you just offload it at an auction, yeah, maybe someone will pay like, like 5 or $10. And now there's a, a whole other reason why you shouldn't get your comics graded. And other customers have come and told me, this is why I don't like it and why I do. When you get something graded, it's actually kind of big and cumbersome to house somewhere. So if you're someone who wants to complete a run and there'd be no reason to get most of them graded. Let's say you want to, let's do Bloodshot. Let's say you want to do a Bloodshot run. Most of those comics, even if you got them in all nine eights, they're going to take up so much space. They're going to be super heavy. And most people are limited on the space that they have in their room, their man cave, their house, their garage, wherever it is. And so you can't really, there's not enough room. So getting them raw not only makes it easier to move if you have to move because they're, they're lighter, but then it doesn't take up much space. So I've met a lot of people. It's like, oh, I'm getting a run of something, you know, say Star Wars. And they're like, I like them raw. So they get them all raw, except like maybe the key ones, they get graded, like number one or number 42 or something like that, because they're valuable enough to get them graded. So that's the thing is they're not valuable enough. You shouldn't. And also, if it's too low of a grade, there's no value there. If you get a, a Star Wars, say, I don't know, 25 in a 4.0, like, do you really need to get like you could buy that raw for a couple bucks on eBay? It's not worth getting getting it even graded. Maybe you bought it graded, but is it, is it even worth buying it getting graded because of the th things I said before? Like, it takes up a lot of space. Now, it makes it easier to sell once it's graded as 4 because it does add value because getting something graded does add value, but it might not be enough to add enough value for what it costs to you actually getting it graded versus buying it graded. So those are two different things, you getting it graded versus buying it graded. So there's a lot of th things to look at, and I just don't, and with a lot of modern comics, a lot of comics that could just come out, like I'm talking about 2022, 2023, 2024, all that kind of stuff, just modern comics in general, a lot of them just aren't worth grading. They're just not um, in terms of value if you want to get your value back. Once the hype has come and gone, those books usually settle around case costs or less 
which is the cost that it takes to case the book. So it's not really worth getting graded. And a lot of those books don't become valuable in the long term. Like you might get a Spider-Man book or a Batman book or something like that. You get a graded, it's non-key, it's a new book, whatever, it's a couple years old. And that book's now a $25 book in a 9.8. And that's kind of like where it will be. There's nothing key about it, nothing unique about it. It's just going to sit there around that. People want to fill a run. They get that book. They get, it's nice getting in a 9.8. They don't have to do any guesswork. But it's, it's not going to be worth what you paid to get it graded to begin with. I don't know. I just I think for some books, it's worth getting graded. For others, no matter how much time passes, they will always be worth not very, like case cost or less. And so to me, unless it falls into one of the categories I've said before, protection, investment, or, you know, only just because you love it, or if you're just trying to sell it, then that's fine. You know, then you're getting a grade for other reasons. But if you're grading it purely for a monetary reason, only certain comics are worth grading. And those are the ones that generally are not new. They're usually older and they have already value attached to it before, you know, before it's graded. So it's a book that's worth a couple hundred dollars, raw, ungraded, whatever you want to call it. And then you get it graded to solidify that $200. Um, a modern book, think about it. It's what, $4.99, $3.99, $5.99. That's basically what the book is worth. And then you get it graded and it bumps it up a little bit. Um, and that's kind of like where it sits, modern books in general. So uh, the only reason I say this is because for two reasons. One reason of why someone shouldn't get everything graded, um, because I you know, disagree. Uh, but another reason is it's okay to not to get a book raw. Like if you're someone out there thinking, I got to get everything graded, I got to buy it graded, all this kind of stuff, it's okay to have it raw. It's not that big of a deal. It saves you space. It saves you the weight, um, as in like how heavy things are. You can have more comics this way. It's okay to buy a raw comic book for $5 versus buying a case for, you know, $30, $40, things like that. If it's already cased, you know, that's a little different story because now you're not the one that paid to get it cased. But also realizing that if you do get certain books cased, that doesn't automatically mean it's going to be worth more. It's not all of a sudden I get XYZ comic book cased and now it's worth more. You could most likely lose money because of the cost that it does to get a case. Now, if they bring down, which I think talking to PSA, they have some unique ideas of how to bring down that cost, then it opens the floodgates for more stuff to get uh, graded professionally. But as it sits right now, if you're spending all in $40 to grade one book, it really most books don't just fall into that category. It's not going to make it more expensive. You're not going to pay $5.99 for a book or whatever you pay, and then another $40. So you're into, say, $45. You won't get that money back a lot of the times. So unless you're doing it for other reasons, like protection because you love it, all that stuff, that's totally fine. But for monetary reasons, it doesn't make sense. Let me know your thoughts. Have a great day.